I think we can say without a shadow of doubt that what we're working with with CSS is absolutely awesome in terms of its power. We can change one thing on the style sheet and anything it's attached to changes. That's pretty cool when you think about it. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and go into our pages and open up our three pages for our lighthouses. Now we still have work to do, but formatting wise, they're all the same, aren't they? Now we know if we go into, let me go ahead and open up CSS here and open up our main CSS right here. We know if we go in here, we can change things. We can change a font, a color, whatever. And everything that it's attached to will change. Let me close that just for a second. Let's say for the sake of argument, and I know I use that term a lot, but we want one page of the three to have a different background, not all three. Now, does that mean we need to go in and make a copy of main CSS and change the color? Well, yes and no. Let me show you this. This is the cascading part of cascading style sheets. Let's go ahead and double click reopen. Here is the color I want to change right here. I don't want to change anything else. Just want to change that. So what I'm going to do is select right about here. I'm going to come down and select all this stuff and delete it. Go up to the word file on the pull down menu and select save as. We're about to make a second style sheet based on the information you see. Let's call this one well, underscore two. Okay, just make it different. Click save. Put it in the same place, CSS. What I would like to do is change the background color of one page, but I don't want to change everything else, just that one thing. I don't even need to have the width here. I'll delete that too. The only thing I want to change is the background color. So I'm going to get in here and go into 8.3. Now we're talking red, green, and blue. I'm going to type in 90, which gives it more blue. Now, as you can see, it is slightly more blue. Now, if I close this, make sure you save it. And we don't need this one open either. So let's close that. Now, which one do you want to apply that to? Let's say FastNet. Go over into CSS Designer panel. Click the plus sign on sources. Attach existing CSS file right there. Click browse. Go into CSS. And there it is right here. We want a link. We don't want it in the document. We want it external, not internal. Click OK. See what it did? It changed it. This one's still gray. So is this one. But this one is now slightly more blue. I only wanted to change one thing. Not everything. Just that one thing. So by creating a secondary CSS style sheet, I have the ability to control that one option. Let me show it to you here too. Let's go into our split view. Notice we now have two, CSS, CSS2. This one has the gray background. This one has the slightly more blue background. What I'm saying is, in this one, look, I know you think the background is supposed to be gray, but override that because I've got this one down here. And since that's the only thing I've asked you to change, Leave everything else alone in this one. That's cascading style sheets. And it gives you absolute power over what you're doing. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and close out of here and let's move on.